Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. So we're here today by, uh, with a reaction to Jubilee's Musicians Rank Themselves by Talent. Oh, aha, I'm always here for things like these. Um, this sounds like a very interesting um, video. It's a bit long, it's 10 minutes long, uh, which by my standards, knowing how much I like to pause videos and just like to talk about certain things, means that this video will probably be a very, very long reaction. So what I'll say is go support the original creators. Um, they do a lot of good videos. I, I do quite like the channel. Uh, in the past, I've reacted to Odd One Out. Um, which I very much enjoyed. Like I binged that series basically in one like night. I watched like five, six videos of those, and I was like, "Damn it, this is so interesting." Um, I, I really enjoyed Jubilee, honestly. Um, my, now this one, this this video speaks to me. My it speaks to me on a personal level. Musicians rank themselves by talent because I feel like they're all gonna they're all gonna underrate themselves. Now, if it's just musicians ranking themselves, I also think it's gonna be very, very different to. Uh, non-musicians ranking themselves and another thing that i am very interested in is the level of musicians that we have on uh, show here because musician is kind of like a blank term it really is um to me however as someone that's you know that dabbles in music um like i wouldn't i wouldn't call myself a musician uh for me as a like like I know so obviously there's, there's a distinction between professional musician and just musician, I guess. But to me, to be considered a musician is uh, you have to, it has to take a central part of your life. Like it, it has to be a central part um, in your day to day life. I'm not talking about just listening, I'm also talking about you're obviously performing uh, or practicing, whether that's a voice or whether it's an instrument. So I'm quite intrigued to see like the level of on, on show here. I'm gonna rank it myself as well, of course, to be as unbiased as I can. As I said, I like pausing a lot. I like talking about things a lot, and this one kind of speaks to me. So, I'm, so this could be rather long. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, go support Jubilee. Watch the video. Watch the original video. Then come back on this channel. Then watch my reaction to it. Um, and with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let us get ready to rock and roll. I'll be very critical, by the way. So. <laughs> This should be fun. I have the final as well, by the way, so but that's not coming off. That's staying on. It's too warm. It's winter, but it's too warm. We're really starting with SpongeBob. Perceived talent. Ah, oh, this should be fun. This will be fun. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Let's get started. Is the video just really quiet or is that just my headphones? It feels really quiet, but then I don't want to like it get it get blown up the second um, they play the instrument. Being able to adapt and improvise. Sorry, what was the question? Um, actually, you know what, let's hear what they say first before I go. Being able to adapt and improvise is a big part of what is inherently a musician. Also playing multiple instruments, I think, is a sure tail sign that you're talented musically across the board. I would say there's like the skills and then there's this sensibility, like how people are going to feel about your music. Even like different genres, I feel like I would judge it slightly differently. Like if I'm at a, like a prog or a metal show and I see some like drummer or someone. He's just, definitely like, a guitarist going, or, like, or drummer. Hell yeah. But if I'm at like a Phoebe Bridgers concert, I'm just like, yes, queen, break my heart. Like, well, like, you know. Okay. Here is uh, what I would say in regards to what describes a music uh, uh, talent, musical ability or musical talent, whatever. Um, one dynamic control i think that's the most it's the at least for the piano it's the most obvious sign that you're good um or that that you're better than good that you're a professional rather than just a pianist because a lot of people pl look playing fast a lot of people like to do that playing fast um doesn't make you a good musician dynamics do and it, it's very clear when you hear a professional uh 
musician compared to like an amateur musician they could play the exact same notes at the exact same time with the exact same rhythm so on and so forth but it's the dynamics that you know that take your breath away for example one of my favorite performances of all time is uh by horowitz um him playing what piece was it let me try and find it for you i think it was uh schumann's uh it's uh tromerai how you would say it and i'll just play it for you for a very brief second um like I, i've played this piece before and my version compared to uh horowitz's is not even anywhere close like you listen to him and it's just it sucks you in just listen for a few seconds Like, like, like the amount of control that he has and the amount of just um, precision he has and how he wants to deliver the kind of uh, feeling that he wants to invoke I think is very important um, that's why I, I don't think to me no, the most important aspect is definitely dynamics then a repertoire um, like what can you actually do now obviously this depends very much on if you're a, if you're if you're playing an instrument or whether you sing but I think both work very well like if you've got diverse repertoire that to me means that you're very comfortable in handling different situations now I think one of them also mentioned you have been able to play multiple instruments I do kind of think that but I also don't. I think that's almost like a cop out. Like, like I, I feel like it's almost a cop out because most people, most musicians, could learn multiple instrument, but a lot of people they obviously specialize in one because, like, I want to put all my time into this instrument. I want to learn and progress all my effort into this. Uh, so they don't even attempt to do two. But with the theory and the the foundation that they have in learning one in one instrument, they would be able to probably pick up a second instrument a lot, a lot quicker. Um, so I feel like that's almost like a like a situation of i could but i also could not now again that also comes down to like what what do we define as musician you know so let's 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 continue each musician will get two minutes to show off their musical abilities went through a breakup recently so i wrote a song last week and i actually wrote it on the piano which i started playing last week so wait He's been playing the piano for a week. I mean, he's wrote a song, I guess. That, that counts for something, but he's been playing the piano for a week. Okay. Clearly, my definition of musician is a little off. Um, a week? That's not even a hobby. That's like just trying it out, but I, I, I ain't complaining. Let's see, let's see what he does. Let's see how he plays. And I actually wrote it on the piano, which I started playing last week, so... The stars align so perfect. Okay, so you're singing as well. Okay, good. That that kind of... It helps. Sorry, I was going to be very judgmental here, but that, it helps. I started playing last week, so... I'm going to judge both, though. The stars align so perfectly When I first met you Could have sworn that we would get through anything But the daylight came and washed away a chance of sanity i need to be free is he flat or is he sh i think he's a bit flat there um all right uh let's 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 fi let's finish this up before i give my feedback sanity, i need to be free Free me from us. Okay, first thing. Um, I think the singing was out of I mean, uh, the singing was out of tune at times. Um, I, did, I did like the way he held his notes, though. Even though I didn't think they were always uh, in tune. Uh, now, with that said, the piano part, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's not that great Let, let's be honest it's not that great he's playing I mean if you look at it 
look at it here you can tell you know he's just playing one note at a time uh what i do like is in this case here his right hand it's okay positioning wise um i mean he's only been playing it for a week but i feel like ever, especially at the beginning level you know the most important thing which is kind of why i always advocate for getting a teacher at least at the very beginning is because you want to get your technique right um in this case here his right hand looks fine his left hand does not it's way too flat uh kind of the way i was taught by my teacher is essentially uh when you play the piano you kind of want to have it like that where it's almost like you almost have like a ball beneath you because that way your hands are loose you don't put any tension on your fingers um now as i said that's that's the criticism part what i will say is that it's he's doing a good job because it's very difficult for someone that just started to sing while playing something and yes the playing isn't the most difficult thing out there but he's still able to sing along with it and that by itself is quite challenging um it, it's in the same context of like try and do something like uh like like, like that you know it's the, the rhythm part it well i can't really show it but it's like it's quite difficult you know it doesn't seem that difficult but once you're playing and the harder your playing gets the more it becomes difficult to do two things at once so that is my positive feedback on that as well as my constructive criticism uh, on his playing um and singing um yeah let's move on from that guitar isn't this the guy that said play multiple instruments i see what you did there Okay, okay. I mean, where is my guitar? Where is my guitar? Oh, it's in the corner. Well, I both, you know, both of them are there. All right, I won't even um, demonstrate what he was doing. Uh, yeah, guitar playing, not bad. Now let's listen to the cello. And I could already tell exactly what he was playing. Oh, and he's playing oh. SpongeBob. Okay, um, I don't, I don't know what the third instrument is. If I'm being completely honest, it just looks like he's sliding things. I don't know what it is. Um, the guitar playing was, it was good. I, like it was good. It wasn't like a great. It was good. Um, combine it with the singing, I'd still say it was good. But like that was decent. Uh, you've, you then get to over to the. Um, the, the Bach piece, I forgot what it's called. I think it's Bach 4 Cello Suite. I might be wrong here. Um, yeah, that was. I think he's nervous. But I also don't think he's nervous because he's kind of just. He kind of strolled in there with like the attitude of like, haha, I know I'm good. Like, I, like, like for me, I know I'm very proficient. But I feel his playing was very nervous, I, I think. Um, now, I've heard this piece obviously being played by professionals, but not by like someone that isn't a professional, I guess. So I, I don't really have much context compared to like not uh, professionals, you know, actual concert uh, musicians. But compared to that, it was decent. Um, very, I mean, as obviously as of right now, he is the number one. Uh, he is the best person. I didn't think I do think it's quite funny that he mentioned at the beginning like oh yeah I think playing multiple multiple instruments and then he plays the guitar which I'm not knocking the guitar as I said I've got two it's the easiest instrument to learn as far as it's the easiest instrument uh, to play at the beginning because it's so chord heavy and you can just sing along to it because it's so chord heavy um, you know there's not much individual notes going on which makes it a very easy instrument to pick up which is that you'll usually after like two to three weeks you're able to already play a good chunk amount of songs um because it is that simple uh so i feel like that's almost a cop out i can't say anything about the third instrument i've never seen that before but yeah that's my overall take as of right now decent performance uh definitely better than the first person i do want to see what we where we go to next <laughs> what is that? 
Isn't he the guy that I said could be a drummer or a guitarist? I played guitar a little bit. Uh, not guitar, sorry. I played uh, drums a little bit, both steel drums and regular drums a little bit during high school for about two years, give or take. Um, but I'm definitely not an expert in those, so I I'm probably going to misjudge it. I have no idea how to judge that. <laughs> Actually, no idea how to judge that. I've seen people back when I went to uh, high school play like that after like three, four months of playing. But I don't know because they were like you know, they were musically gifted. Like a friend of mine, very, very musically gifted. And I've seen them be able to play like that um, after like just two to three months of playing the drums. I never took it that serious. Like, like yeah. So I can't really. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to judge compared to what I would be able to do. Um, one thing you can say is, or at least I felt that way, is that he kind of just went one note until very, very, very much at the end. But his his uh, tempo was as far as, as far as I could tell, very much on point. So I don't know if I'd rate him better than the second person or not, because I've got so little knowledge about the drums. I think I would. I think I would. I think right now he is in first, even in first or in second. I'm, I'm, but I think he's just edging it in first. Let's see what. We'll, we'll judge it at the end, I guess. I, 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 I am, I, I, I'm about to lose my, my Okay, uh, singing wise, I thought it was very good. Guitar wise, I thought it was okay. Like, like not nothing too special on the guitar. I did enjoy the singing quite a lot. Um, I think she is between the drummer and the second guy, um, the free instrument person. I think she right now would be second. Um, very enjoyable to listen to, and she sounds the most competent. But if she had just gone in there with singing, I think she would have been number one. But because she's done two things singing and playing the guitar, I also have to judge the guitar part. And just for the guitar part, she would not be number one. Um, I can't give it to that. I, I just can't. Like, like that's what I'm saying. If, if it was just one thing, I would have given it a lot more. If it was just the singing part, I probably would have given her, I mean, I'm pretty certain I would have given her the number one role, number one spot, I guess, at the moment. But because of the guitar part, I think that kind of brought her down as well. It wasn't bad, but it was so, so, I don't want to say basic, but so, um, simple that it it really didn't add a much to the singing which is unfortunate because the singing was so good let's see what he does don't tell me it's ah <laughs> Fantasy impromptu. He's actually. You know what? I, I was gonna say it's a bad song to choose. It's a bad piece to choose. Fantasy impromptu, because uh, usually musicians, you know, they'll be able to. Um, I guess. I guess you probably would say pianist uh, would be able to tell if you're making mistakes if you're not performing that well. But. The level of musicians here is very different. 
And the thing is, from what I could already tell, I, I could hear the notes fade already. Uh, let me listen. It, it basically, Fantasy Impromptu. It's a very, it's a piece that will, it's a piece that you play, right? When you, you're proficient at playing the piano, but it's also a piece that, that sounds a lot harder than it actually is. So it's usually like, a, it's almost like the Solfeggetto, um, where it's like a piece that sounds very, very fast um, and it's quite challenging but it's nowhere near as difficult as it actually sounds and it's so overplayed that if you're not playing it that well a someone that has heard the piece before multiple times will be able to tell immediately you know it's in that kind of vein where like you can really tell a professional or a a, a great performance compared to that of like say a, a less than stellar performance because playing the notes with any instrument i would say is easy playing the notes in the correct way that you want it to be played that's the difficult part so yeah i can already tell the note the, the, the sound fade at the end there but let me listen to it again because it kind of stopped early yeah you can, uh, I, don't, I don't know whether that's the, uh, i feel sorry i kind of i kind of i'm biased right now, i guess because he's playing the piano but i guess I don't know if it's the nerves or whether it's just uh, he's not used to the piano, uh, this specific piano, because all the piano, all, all pianos are always different. So I don't know whether that's the case or whether it's the uh, the I don't know whether it's just nerves kicking in. But you can definitely hear the note, the notes fade here. Yeah, the notes fade. The tempo slows down dramatically. Ah, it's a bit frustrating now. It's a it's a tiny bit frustrating because clearly if he's playing that like he thinks he's got it and I think you know if, if he was more confident or if he was at home, uh, he would be able to you know perform that to the level that um, he expects of himself. I guess we'll say very flat fingers. Like like his fingers are almost. It's more like the fingertips rather than the finger. Like the hand is still like that, but the fingers. I see. I can't really do it. Like, like the hand is still sort of around, but like the fingers are very much like that, and that can it can slow down uh, your playing a little bit. But I don't think that's the reason why. Like he kind of hesitated there. I think it just nerves, honestly. Yeah, it, I, I think it's actually I think it's the confidence issue because you can definitely tell now he's playing a, a significantly easier piece and it's like yeah okay okay the confidence you, you try playing fantasy impromptu it didn't come off and now you're playing something that's a lot easier but you can maybe like win some brownie points with because it sounds so much um, it, it, it's a it's a sound that people are familiar with and it sounds so much. Uh, dramatic in like a uh, romantic sense so i think it works specifically he, he switched over to that specifically because he had his confident knocked out of his sails she's definitely feeling it exactly what he wanted to do Uh, before, we, before we move on, um, why do I rank him? Difficult. Um, I think third. I think third. I think. You know what? I, I'll be nice. <laughs> no, nah, I won't be nice. Nah, I, I, I think third. Um, I think there is no definitive winner yet. I think the cello guy was very good, but like I think the singer would have been number one if she didn't play the guitar. I feel like that kind of ruined it a little bit because her guitar playing was so just okay, whereas the singing was so good. 
then you've got him here who like he tries something more challenging and fails it but then tries something so much easier but excels at it you've got the cello guy who uh you know is playing three instruments one okay one i can't judge at all because i've got no idea and then the other decent um you know what i'll judge it at the end i i, I need to hear the rest right now because it's difficult for me right now No. Oh, that was the end. Oh, I thought it was just the end of her. Um, by far the best, to be honest. Although it was basically just a arpeggios. Well, not by far the best, to be honest. I think she's number one. I'm going to say the other girl is number two. One second, I need to see them all. And, all right, so number one, I'm gonna be a lot kinder here. Number two, uh, maybe it's because of my am I gonna give them number three to bias the bias is struck that now, number two. I can only give them based on what they've played. I shouldn't give them based on what they might have been able to do in a perfect setting. So, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. That's the order I'm going with. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. I mean, obviously last. I think, obviously, first. Yeah, so I, I, I think I'll leave it at that. Oh, <laughs> one second, one Don't second. Worry, one second. I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I'm just, this, all right. No, 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 it's all right, so, it. I would say six. I thought you were phenomenal. You were absolutely brilliant. This is just tough because there's six of us here so like totally fine. five for you and i thought like your your piano was also just so brilliant like i thought yeah it was really what wait 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 we're absolutely brilliant this is just tough because there's six of us here so like totally fine. five for you and i thought like your your piano was also just so brilliant like i thought yeah it was really crazy four would be i thought you were sick your voice is great i would say three i thought you were phenomenal your voice is beautiful i would say i'd give myself two uh but then i would give you number one just because <coughs> excuse me excuse me what Oh, we definitely don't agree. Oh, <laughs> we definitely don't agree. You, the, yeah, the drums, that's just in my mind, so. I thought that Thank was, you, dude. Nah. Yeah, I thought he was a man. I can't. I mean, like, I'm just a huge fan of drums. Okay, so. Julius, I don't know, I don't know you personally, but. What the f I thought I was, like, lit. And we have to rank ourselves? Yeah, Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna have to give you a six just because. Yes. You know, I didn't see a lot of musical stuff. Songwriting, it'd be yeah. probably a different number. Five, probably one instrument. I didn't get a lot of variety. Uh... I can see that. I can see that. Uh, again, this is the Mr. Variety guy over here. Um, I think just because of the. Okay, I'm biased against him right now because I'm trying not to be biased for him. And that's really it, right? Uh, but yeah, probably four. I just saw a lot of drums. Yeah, I yeah. love the drums, and you rip. But I didn't get a chance, I guess, to see like what else you could do. I'll give myself a three. I'd probably give you a two just for your voice. I'm gonna have to give you a one just because. Isn't that exactly the way I said it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's the order that I had. 
Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. All right. Not only did you basically nail that piece that you played, but like just the expression, the dynamic was like huge. Dynamics, that's so, what it was. That's, yes. so that's it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you the six. I mean, I, I like it. I felt like she broke my heart. Mr. Too. Number two. Oh, yeah. She probably, like, she probably <laughs> did. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the five. Uh, I'll give you the four. So I would give myself the third. I think I'm gonna, oh Jesus. Ah, I think I'm gonna give you the two. Your piano, especially as a pianist myself. I think that's why I vibe the most with her. But just that's the a piece that you played, I was like, wow. That's a very fair argument. And to be fair, right, him, him and him those three honestly could be interchangeable like like the difference between those three i don't think is that crazy and for me obviously number one number two uh again those three you can change it any way you like but for me he's easily number six or no no offense um he's kind of got this I've, i can play three instruments which is impressive the drums again i i just can't really quantify or qualify so I know it's impressive, but I don't know how impressive it is compared to like what I've seen and heard myself. And then with him, I am like, you could be doing, you could have done a lot better. And then you switch over to an extremely simple piece because you were either that nervous or because you kind of felt like you were losing the race. So from that perspective, um, as I said, in a perfect environment, I think he would have gotten the, he would have gotten you know third in my list or maybe second but it wasn't a perfect environment um it wasn't he didn't play at his best so again these three are interchangeable they all have an asterisk to them for me personally which is why you can move them anywhere you want him num last and her basically that, that dynamics as well as the fact that it was just very clean it was just very very clean um it was just very very impressive because i didn't expect that compared to like what we heard before that basically where like you know it was it was kind of like okay we can play a few things here and there but like it wasn't it wasn't pristine which we've heard felt pristine her singing was great but her guitar was yeah <laughs> that's all i gotta say so i i agree with this order as well like i've got no critique really oh man okay yeah so i guess for um sixth just the lack of experience, I guess. But I love your songwriting. Same, yeah, it seems to be a common I, theme I common think theme. it was absolutely beautiful. For five, I guess maybe. Dan I don't get how he could rate himself number two. Mate, you you're playing literally like one note with each finger at most. Like, bro, what? I, th I think common. it was absolutely beautiful. For five, I guess maybe Daniel. Four. I would probably give to Sato. Yeah, I would give myself a three. Um, nah, probably yeah. Michael a two. Extremely humble. And then I'd say Mary, I'd give you a one. I would listen to you like in the car on a late night drive. Extremely humble. So, um, I don't know if this is like a cop out. I think I'm just gonna give myself the six because is that is that lame? Just I... rank yourself honestly. Uh, God. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I think I'm gonna give you the six. Uh -huh. The song is like, absolutely <laughs> beautiful. And I want to see it, so I feel like that discredits you, you a lot. Did you cry? In the inside, a little bit. <laughs> I think I'll give myself the five. I think I'm gonna give you the four, and it might just be because I'm in a band and I'm like always seeing guitarists. I think I'm gonna give you the three. But God damn it, you were so good. At this. But I'm also very like pop and rock oriented. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm gonna give you second. But in terms of like one of like I think what I would want to go see on a Friday night, I think it would be you because beautiful voice and Thank you. Solid okay. Guitar player. Again, can't really. I agree. I disagree with the top two, but beyond that, like like yeah, I kind of whatever. I don't really just the mind. I was literally thinking that. I was like, no, this is like the worst. I think we all have an understanding that in a yeah, songwriting scenario is much different than like, come out here and show your chops, so. I'm gonna have to give you the six just based <laughs> off of the fact that I think if you practice more piano and you know, you get those quote unquote 10,000 hours because I yeah, think songwriting and being able to accompany yourself is extremely important. I'm gonna give myself the five. I would give you the four. Ah, I wish you would have elaborated on that. Cause like, again, if, if I don't judge the guitar, she gets a second highest. But if I judge with the guitar, the guitar weighs it down a lot. But I don't know whether it weighs it down more than the other people or not. That's my issue. Like, I, that's honestly my issue. Whether the guitar weighs it down that much 
or whether it just weighs it down or whether I, you know, I ignore it. Now, I don't I haven't ignored it for anything for anyone else, so I really shouldn't for her either, but I am because I'm kind. I'm nice. But that's really what it boils. Yeah, that's really what it boils down to. I'm nice. Is extremely important. I'm going to give myself the five. I would give you the four because you went crazy. I don't, like there was like 20 different time signatures that you were playing right now. Like that was ridiculous. I think I'm going to give you the three. I'm going to give you the two just because I almost what? cried when you played. I'm going to give you the one. The fact that you can pick up so many different instruments and play it so well is something that I strive as. Okay. Like, I want to be able to I... play like 20 different instruments. I can't get behind that fully, but okay. He not only played instruments I have like literally never heard of. I didn't know that that's the instrument that's played in the background of SpongeBob. I had no idea. And he didn't even play all the instruments he knows. Woo. Yeah, that's the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram follows ranked musician based on who they thought was the most talented. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. This guy's. Well, this guy is pissed, by the way, but. What? Really? What? What? You know what? I, hey, let the people decide. Let the people decide. Obviously, you know, like a little disappointed I got in last. How? We ain't finished your last, but it was. Uh, these people are amazing musicians. Like, like, I don't get how he get, or gave himself a number two. Honestly, I, I think he's way too full of himself. If, if I'm being completely honest, like have some humility. You played for you played instruments for a week, and you think you can compete? Playing w one note on each. <laughs> an instrumentalist and everything. You know, I thought I did a good job. I always do. I think I do a really good job of representing like my vulnerability, just being like as honest as possible. I think I, I think I did my job. I think you know I'm proud of what I did. For a I was week. glad that I got number one for the audience, uh, but. I feel like it's very subjective and in terms of the ranking by musicians I got four and I was also fine with it it's how they felt you know and you cannot really argue with that so I for a week I'm sorry I can't get behind that I I, I, I don't see it uh, how do you give yourself a number two and be disappointed you are in dead last when you played for a week yeah Music for me isn't a competition it's an art form it's something that that's a great mindset makes me is it though I do like musical competitions though. The Chopin competition every year, I'm looking forward to it every day I'm watching it. I'm like, yeah. Feel like I can express myself and connect with other people, which is something that has always been super important to me. So. For a week though! Watch the full musical performance on a second. Oh, I kind of want to see that now actually. I kind of want to see his fantasy impromptu, where, you know, uh, where it ended, how it ended. Um, Look, man, look, all right. Look, all right. I, I can't switch the cameras right now, unfortunately, but that's like me playing something. Like, I can't move it as well, but that's like me playing something, right? And it's like... And I'd be like, yeah, I should be, I should be number one, shouldn't I? Like, I should be number, like, like, come on. Yeah, I... I think as the rating that I given, uh, I think I'm gonna stick with that. That's kind of gonna be my ranking going, um, my ranking for this video. Uh, they've got other things as well, which I find very very interesting, uh, which I might check out as well. But let me know what you all for what your ranking would be. You know what? Actually, before I end this video, uh, I kind of turn a fan of them now. It's I can feel the heat. Um, let me just very very quickly. Uh, try and see where I can find the full performance. Like, I, I'm not really interested in like all the other people. I know as, as bad as that sounds, what I am interested though, it's just to see how the fantasy impromptu uh, went. Um, let me try and find it. Because based on what I could hear, it, it, it wasn't that great. But like, 
if it actually is so much better in the full performance, like if, if it was just kind of just cut badly, then, uh, you know what, I, I would give them a lot higher, but I need to listen to the, that's why I need to listen to the... Wait, he's singing as well? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sing just a little bit and then I'm gonna just do what I know. Okay. Come up to me to tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. I have to find you. Okay. Uh, good thing I didn't hear the singing. Uh, honestly, good thing I didn't hear the singing. You know what I'm gonna do just very, very quickly. Um, I'd have to get rid of the headphones because the headphone cable is probably not long enough. One second. What? I'm Damn. I'm the only one who plays only one instrument. You know what? I'm gonna sing. <laughs> I'm gonna sing just a little bit and then I'm gonna just do what I know. And that's good. Come up to me to tell you I'm sorry. You don't know how lovely you are. I have to find you. Tell you I need you. I tell you I set you apart. That's gonna be it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so he started with that. Wait, he started with that piece. Interesting. Not the fantasy impromptu. Now that's fascinating. Okay, let's see how this goes then. In that order. You can definitely tell how nervous he is. Look at his fingers. His left hand, especially. Now nah, he's nervous, nervous. That, I can, his left ring finger is twitching right there. If he started with that, why did he go to a fantasy impromptu if he's that nervous? I think I know why his dynamics it, it it's it, it needs a little bit of work because it sounds very very um <coughs> samey it, it, it like it sounds very much like he's playing everything in one dynamic until it's like the higher the higher notes and that's kind of where he tries to um, make it sound different but it does sound very much like just a like, 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 it sounds kind of like everything is just mezzo forte or mezzo piano, and that's it. it that's what kind of what it is. Like, it, I don't know if it's the acoustic of the room. Okay. Wait, 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 what happened to the fantasy impromptu? Um, okay. You can't. That's the whole reason. What? That is the entire reason. I... The fantasy impromptu just. She, what? I feel like I should practice this she, with, please. I played flute for a little under a year in sixth grade. Okay. It's been like two decades. Oh. Um, so she plays the flute as well. Uh, immediately, obviously she hasn't played it that much uh, as she mentioned herself, but immediately the first thing that you know is that you can hear her breathing. Uh, which is kind of the whole thing with like, um, 
uh, with musicians that they do want to hide their breath as much as possible when playing a wind instrument. So in this case, you know, hearing actually hearing her breathe clearly shows you that she isn't that proficient in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, now she's easily number one. Well. Yeah, dynamic control is so much better than anyone else. I know someone could make the argument that all she is really doing is playing arpeggios and uh, uh, octaves, but she's playing them well. Right? She, she's playing really, really well. Um, yeah, for me, that, just listening to that more. I mean, we didn't even get to hear the fantasy impromptu. I'd give this guy a lower rating now, especially because of the singing, you know. But like, hey, it do be like that sometimes. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your rating would be. I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye.